serious? It's freaking raining. Ah, <laughs> I'm getting ready to film a great video. Well, hopefully a great video. And then, it's raining. And I have, like, no camera battery. You know what? Forget it. Let's do it. If you haven't guessed the video already, it has to do with this thing. Let's go. We made it. If you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, today I am doing the Lucky Tackle Box Challenge. And this is the freezing edition. I'm out here in a cold December day. It's freezing, there's rain pouring down, and I'm trying to catch a fish on every bait in this box. Hopefully Lucky Tackle Box sent me some great stuff this month. They always do, but it's gonna be a challenge today in this freezing temps, and I don't have much time. So, if you guys don't know what Lucky Tackle Box is, it is a subscription-based product where they send for a certain fee every month you get a box full of lures so I even though it's freezing out I could not wait to take this box out and see what they sent me and try to catch some fish on it so I hope you enjoy and stay tuned let's get after it I might have just not brought scissors in my haste that would be just fantastic well let's see what we got we got swim baits another swim bait this is the cool these are those uh, spool tech ones got some V&M ones these little riot baits. Cross. That look decent. A giant crank. You know, nah, it doesn't look like a bad bait, but uh, this is like a 10 foot deep pond. And we got some Ochos. Hopefully those will work. I mean, the world record spot was just caught on one of these. That's how much they work this time of year. Lucky Tap Box knows what they're doing. And we've got a Monster Bass Slim Jim 110. Looks like a Mega Bass. Don't they all? Anyway, so we'll see what we can catch them on. I think I'm going to start... I haven't even thought about what I'm going to start with. Oh, I know what I'll start. We're going to start with the riot baits. And it's a little craw with a hula skirt. I'm going to throw it on the back of this, this here jig. See if we can't catch me one. Jig's a great wintertime bait. Works good in ponds. And this chunk actually looks pretty good. It's like a black and blue and there's some dirty water coming in. It's a good, chunks are always good, trailers. We'll see if this thing has any action. Maybe we'll catch some. get one bite but it might be one like that <laughs> yes. oh look at that choke the jig that was that riot baits bait in this lucky tackle box pitched it up right in that culvert where he should have been that's a good one right there that's easy five probably check out that head ah. <laughs> yes that's a giant that's a stud winter bass right there probably five and a half at least check out that thing he's not he doesn't have a huge belly he doesn't have that like fat winter's belly but he's got that big head it's a beauty right there let's get her back in the water first fish and it's like a five five and a half pounder let's get after it so far so far so good on lucky tackle box so far let's keep going there we go that was on that riot baits using it as a trailer on that uh 
using it as a chunk. It's a cool two-tone color is what we like at Tackle Box sent us. Perfect chunks are perfect this time of year. A lot of times chunks like that you buy they have a little bit less action, they have a little bit bigger profile. They slow down that jig's descent rate, and in winter, that slow moving jig, they eat it up. Big fish like that. We might not get numbers, but you'll get size. First fish, and it's a five and a half. <laughs> let's, let's throw in there and see if we can get one more. That would be awesome. I mean, it's usually a big fish like that, they're gonna be territorial, but you never know. You never know. I got another one. <laughs> Look at that. Two for two. Joking the bait. Yes. That's awesome. Like a five and a half and a little squirt, but that's fine. Stacked up on that little culvert. Here's the real question. Can we go three for three? Three for three, can we do it? Let's see. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible cast. That's okay. Ooh. No three for three. Unfortunately, no three for three, but that's okay, we knocked out a bait. So, let's see, we gotta go back, tie on a couple other baits, let's see if we can catch few more fish. Those bites, when they sit up on a pipe like that, outflow of water, if it's a really small outflow, they're gonna sit right in front of it waiting for food and they just like that current. It brings oxygen, food, sediment, all kinds of good stuff. Bait fish is gonna come up there too. They're attracted by the same things but basically it's a magnet and it's even in the dead of winter there'll be a fish in a couple inches of water, of muddy water, and if you just put it in there they'll eat it instantly. That's what's so cool about it is it's a feeding place. So you put that bait right on that fish's nose, he's going to eat it almost every time. Well, the camera died. I knew it was on its last leg, so I went and threw it in the car trying to charge it. But we're going to get back at it. I'm going to try to use my phone to film if I can. <laughs> it's raining. It's a bad idea. It doesn't even have a case. But we're going to do what we can to make this video happen because... You can't catch a five and a half pounder on tape and then just say, oh, let's throw away the footage. So, and this is a challenge. Even if the camera goes out, I still have to try to complete the challenge. So let's get after it. What do you think, ducks? Think I'm gonna complete the challenge? Yes? They don't think so. So, what did you guys miss while the camera was off? I tried throwing the jerk bait a little while, but it was sinking really fast and so it was getting hung on those stumps out there. So I, I said, I'll just come back to that later. I tried uh, the V&M swim bait. It looks incredible in the water at slow speeds. It really has a, at fast speeds it just loses control, but at slow speeds it has this really wide kick. It's a really wide for winter time, but it still looks really good. But I hung it up, on, I was throwing that on an underspin and I hung up my jig head and broke off, unfortunately. So I'm running out of time to complete this challenge. I really am struggling to get, you know, those first few fish, but right now I've decided I'm gonna go with the option that seems like it would the most likely to get bit right now, and that's throwing a drop shot. I'm gonna be throwing the Strike King Ocho little wacky rig drop shot. So let's get after it, see if we can catch some. If we're lucky, we'll catch a couple more fish. If we lock knock out two out of uh, two more of the baits, I'll feel better. as stupid as I knew there were logs out there but that's why you fish them is because you think there's gonna be one on them but I never catch many out there and I just lose a lot of lures all right well I'm not really sure what to do now running out of filming light I'm thinking I'm thinking my game plan is to grab 
throw little Ocho on a wacky worm weightless, throw it around up that shallow section where I was getting those bites. Um, if I don't catch one on that, probably right before I end, throw the jerk bay out in the middle a little bit, see what happens. We got no time, but we gotta go. Well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the day here. That was the Lucky Tackle Box Challenge, freezing edition. It was a really cold day and uh, really tough fishing. You know, I caught those two out right off the bat, a really big one, but only had an hour and a half and uh, couldn't capitalize. I broke off some baits. I just didn't catch, just didn't finish out the challenge. So I was a little bit afraid that could happen. You know, winter, a lot of times it's about that one big bite and we actually got it first fish five and a half pounds that's a really nice fish five five and a half i don't know it's a big one anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to check out lucky tackle box check the link in the description they're a super cool group of people and it's a super cool product that i think you'll really enjoy so that wraps it up for this episode of obsessed fishing tight lines god bless and we will see you next time